This is the 2017 Ural gear up that I ride and we've got the sidecar removed. So this is the sidecar side and we've already taken the uh, cylinder head apart and you can see what I did to that cylinder. Ugh. So it just got too hot. One of the things we think that happened though is since I have the winch from Caliber Creations on the side is that it's interfering with the airflow that's coming on this side and it's not getting enough cooling on this side of the motor because the other side was just fine. It didn't overheat, but it's the one that isn't interfered with. There's nothing over here for the wind uh, to hit and it was just fine. The compression's fine and we may take it apart just to look at it since the engine got so hot, see if there was any damage, but so far um, it seems to be fine. And Ski took two hours and by himself, somehow with a forklift, was able to get the sidecar off. We'll help him put it back on. But this is what uh, the Ural sidecar looks like off the bike. And you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. I've got the Caliber Creations bar and then it connects and holds the winch. So I think that winch is causing uh, the airflow problems. You can see how big it is and it's right in line with the cylinder head. So maybe. I will just take that off, uh, put it in the back, and use it sparingly. I can't turn the, normally I can turn the handlebars to get access to this side. Because this is going to be in the way to get this off of here. To, uh... We only got to finish. Yep. And say, oh, well, I want to borrow that such and such. But the big green box is behind me. Oh, thank you. That came off much easier. Yeah. Guess when they're oriented the right way. That's yep. the easier one. Another one. So. Normally I'd stuff a rag in here to keep anything from while we're working comes down there, but we're going to be taking it. I'm just curious to see what this side really looks like. It's not gonna be bad. Compared to the new the new mm -hmm. um, cylinder. Mm -hmm. I work for Ford, Chrysler and different stuff. I was about I wasn't even 18 years old. Living up in Idaho, and as a mechanic working for the one little Ford dealership, I had a guaranteed minimum. Change those two. Uh, a guaranteed minimum, which basically meant if nobody comes in the shop, because everything was done on flat rate depends on what I get done uh, I made at least four thousand dollars that month in those days it's all money, money. Those yeah days. well on race day my apartment was about hundred and seventy five dollars a month and race days, I could buy a case of beer at Coors for a dollar and a quarter a six pack. Five bucks for a whole case of beer. And there's all the beer. Are you referring to 
Well, they had a drag, there was a big drag race near Boise, Idaho. Gotcha. So, a bit carboned up. Or, it's the rings and the compression. See, in this case, yeah, there's why. <laughs> yes. The number one piston ring, it's cracked. That's why we had low compression on it. So the rings got hot, Glad and you're we you getting more oil from the engine blowing past. Um, it's playing way head up, so no oil on the bike. With compression on it. So I've been this for, for years. So that's, and this is the, I don't have the number on this, but this is the, the Colt Dash 30. So it comes with a wrist pin. So you got a new wrist pin, a new set of rings, okay? And the piston itself is the clips. They are coated oh, nice. to, to protect heat, and they have a Teflon insert Beautiful. so that when the piston rocks back and forth, it doesn't scrape the inside of the barrel so much, okay? Hmm. So, in What's this case, this side over here is not quite as bad as the other side. Um, they had a little clip, little J, they, they look like a G. Mm -hmm, yeah. They had a clip that you would grab to the get G them out. Mm -hmm. yeah, pull them out. But these, Nice. There it is. Yep. 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 It holds it so that I can put it in an angle to squeeze and fight and wrestle it and snap it into the clip. Next was the Nepper back then, and the, uh, the oil at the cylinder heads. Oh, the small hole. Yeah. Right there. So to get the to to lubricate the uh, rockers and stuff, the oil comes down the pushrod tubes. Okay, it's not pressurized. It's just basically a drip feed, and then once it builds up to a certain level, it flows back into the oh. engine through that thing. So this is where. They changed um, later on to universal gaskets. 
that have holes on both sides because people would put them in backwards and fuck things up. Block the hole. Yep. Hmm. And uh, I'd add a couple of them where people worked on it. I don't know what's it. Just keep leaking oil now that they worked on it. <laughs> and so I've got these eighth-inch drill bits, super long, and I could run it from the outside all the way down and just tap and go. And I can feel where it is. Just boom, clean it out and let you yeah, have whatever is in there goes into the oil. Don't worry. Factory. <laughs> See, some, some of this, the metal, see they're praying some of this until it blew out through the through the exhaust gap vent, okay? Mm -hmm. That's where this, that's the difference of this head versus. They're both pretty much the same as far as carbon goes, but there's a little more damage on that head, okay? Mm -hmm. On the... The seating and so on the, down near the ends and so on. So, so we can do better than that, but we're also not making a Ducati race bike. That's the other thing. That's right. We can our and in general, this thing should be pretty damn tough just to run by its lonesome. This is still all prep work toward putting it back together. Get the oil changed, out of here, and so on.